again my friends and it's been a while since I've actually built an aircraft model and this time it's from Academy in 177 scale the Mr. Schmidt B409G6 as I actually had this built and painted for my friend on his birthday and uh, you already know who you are dude if you are happen to watch this video of course but as you can see in this kit, it comes with a nice clear parts, a very low sprue count and parts, uh, and the uh, decals, which in very nice selection, as along with the uh, instructions and painting guide, which the instructions are very simple and easy to follow for such as someone who hardly ever does uh, any aircraft model. And as you can see here, it's very nicely added, well, well put together as you can see. But also the cockpit, as you can look on the insides there, I've already painted. And that was surprisingly a lot of fun to sort of weather and chip and out of all those little details inside the little pilot's uh, little seat. <laughs> and now let's prime the model with this liquid surface primer gray, along with this lacquer thinner, which I highly recommend mixing both together and it'll create a very strong, and even, well, all even along with the lacquer thinner, we even improve the in integrity and the strength of this gray primer, which will be very nice, of course, for on a little plastic model, which I don't want to risk any covering up any detail with, of course, the other sort of more thick primers that you're probably more used to seeing me use, of course. And there's no real secret to this brush printing on the Tamiya Gray Liquid Surface Primer, of course, that we mix in with the uh, lacquer thinner, which will help make it stronger, as I said before. And as I go in many sort of two to three thin layers and the passes, of course, and it's very interesting to see how this builds up over time compared to maybe the AK or maybe the uh, Vallejo gray primer or even the black primer that I typically use and this is very nice for just brush printing on uh, any of your uh, aircraft models especially on big wide flat surfaces now we can try to paint on this light uh, gall gray and don't worry that's not a typo not supposed to say dull but you know a seagull gray which is very nice from a Hataka paint set that I b recently purchased for uh, aircraft models, but also just the variety of very nice, decent uh, gray colors as well. And uh, once again, in three to five layers, very nicely thinned down, even though it is from their blue line, which is meant exactly for brush painting, which is very convenient, you still have to add at least one or two drops of water mix into your five or maybe seven drops of paint. And of course, uh, you still have to make sure you get a nice big flat wide brush so that you don't want to risk any brush strokes. Now I can mix flat yellow, uh, or at least not mix, but use flat yellow, German camouflage, dark green, and the black, of course, for the front propeller and nose. And of course, it very helps uh, very nicely to apply the flat yellow on a white surface rather than it just being uh, a very dark surface which would require us to add more layers Now we can begin to brush paint on the dark green camouflage onto the upper parts of the plane. And of course in the very nice sharp uh, edges and maybe sort of a faded airbrush tone that I will try to attempt that you may notice. But on the end it actually turns out looking the way I intended to. So uh, let's watch.
Now for the decals, I of course soak them in water and you, as you can see, I speed it up so you don't have to watch me to fiddle around with the decals as much. And of course, to then seal it with a, uh, I at least help let it set on the model into the crevices and details with the Mark Fit Strong uh, decal setter that you will see here. And also cover it in the nice two to three layers of Vejo Matte Medium. For glue in the top of the canopy, I of course use canopy glue, conveniently named, from Evergreen's models. As well as, you know, they sell other plastic parts and other things that I'm probably not aware of. But of course now with the varnish, I use the Vejo Satin Varnish to give it that nice semi-sheen of not too glossy and not too matte. Which is one of my favorite and personal choices of a uh, very nice uh, satin look. Now I can create my acrylic soap wash that I'm sure most of you are familiar with by now with Warm Fine Brown from Citadel, you know, their airbrush color basically which is very nicely convenient for brush painting, but pretty much one of my only Citadel colors, of course, being mixed in with the Vejo black color to give us a nice dark wash for panel lining and possibly other grime or the buildup of possible dirt from the crew. And of course, from underneath the plane of maintenance or from possibly grease. All sorts of uses, of course, from just one little black uh, dark wash paint. And it is very nice for just chipping, as you can see here, which I use from Vallejo Model Air Silver, which is, of course, I use a toothpick with just little light scratches, and then eventually using a sponge for creating those little roundized little bits of edge chipping that you will see later on. like to thank you all so much for watching this video if you've managed to make it this far and for hopefully enjoying an aircraft model that maybe some of you have been waiting for uh, especially for you my friend hopefully i'll be seeing you all next time for the next video here is the finished model